Crowd ready to get underway on an absolutely perfect night weather-wise. Norris is set. The officiating crew is set, and so are we. Mark puts the foot into it. High end over and kick. Dotson coming up. Takes it at his own 10. Comes up the middle with the football of the 20. He's hit and popped down. It was Barry Odom, the freshman from Ada, Oklahoma, storming in to make the tackle after about a two-yard pickup. Actually, about a nine-yard pickup for Damian Dotson, but down quick. Who uh, played just the second quarter our second half last week and picked up 74 yards. Scruggs in at fullback to start the ball game, though. Deep handoff, second back. That's Cobb. He's hitting pop down at the line of scrimmage. The chopper, Daryl Chapman there. About a one-yard pickup. If that, for Cobb. Richie Floyd, the leading receiver from Memphis. Wide right, tight in. Kerry Cobb, tight left. Backfield in a I formation. It's Reeves and Cobb behind Quadri Anderson. Handoff running the left side, Cobb. He's hit at the 22. Popped down at about the 22-yard line by Joe Love, who lost his helmet in the process. The Tiger defense has come to play. Chad Chris with support on that play, John. They have gained, but a little misdirection. Carr and Floyd go wide to the right, wide to the left. Dotson tight in, tight left. Lone setback is Reeves, the fullback. Quadri Anderson, the quarterback at a third and eight. Straight drop back, looking left, feeling pressure, running to the right side now, looking downfield. Tosses it across the flat. Dotson has it to 26. Breaks the tackle to the 30. Cuts it across 35. Popped down at about the 38-yard line with a Memphis first down. Shad Chris had a chance and missed him, making the stop called off Easter. Well, Mike, they had a little blitz on. Missouri had a blitz on the left side here. They had him. Chris Powers comes in again, a 15 on that play. Richie Floyd wide right. Chancey Carr wide to the left. Backfield in an eye behind Anderson. Fakes the draw, looking downfield off play action. Fires across the middle, and he's got Richie Floyd in Missouri territory at about the 44-yard line. Another Memphis first down, two wide open that time, John. Well, that split receiver went right. Tiger, 44-yard line. Dotson wide to the left side, wide to the right side is Floyd. Tied in, is tight to the left. That's Powers. Backfield in an eye. Now they shift off set eyes. Inside handoff to the fullback. Reeves running the right side. Dragged down by about from behind by Joe Love. Maybe picked up a yard on the play. Did Chris Reeves. Justin Wyatt there to help as well for Missouri. Again, a little mix. of one. Tight end goes out. Three wide outs. Two to the left. One to the right. That's Floyd. Backfield, Reeves and Cobb in an eye. Behind Anderson on a second and nine. Play action fake looking downfield. He's going to rainbow left sideline intended for Floyd. And it's intercepted by Missouri. And running it out of the end zone is Terrence Binion down the left sideline to the 25. He's popped out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. A nice run back by Terrence Binion as he came over from the safety position. Overplayed or played the overthrown ball well, John. It picked it off. Ron Jaynes in making his first collegiate start. Devin West, the sophomore from Moberly. He is a speed burner. Two receivers go wide to the right. Tight end is tight to the left. Dive play to the fullback, Jaynes. Maybe picks up a yard on the play. Tony Williams makes the stop for Memphis. Stuby the tight end, tight right. Backfield split. Jaynes and West. Now they shift to an eye formation on a second and nine behind Corby Jones. Ball on the left hash. Handoff, second man through West, breaking a tackle across the 35, out to about the 36-yard line. Pick up a five on the play. Nice run there. Tim Hart and Tony Williams on the stop for Memphis. Well, that's what they might have to do. They led the fullback that time on an ice play to the right. The fullback leads. They give the detail back, and they get maximum blocking on that side with the fullback in their blocking. Pick up a five, third and four now for Missouri. Brooks and Jenkins to the left. Backfield split behind Corby Jones. Tight in, tight right. Now they shift to an eye. In motion to the right side goes Jenkins. Jones, option play right. Keeps it, cuts it upfield. He's hit and he's brought down short of the first down. Maybe a pickup of one on the play. Good pursuit by Memphis to cut him down. Keith Spann coming. A good rush on and Memphis State played the option real well to their left side. So Vince Sebo, the barefooted, left-footed freshman from... Uh, Spring Texas comes on to punt for Missouri. He stands at his 29. Back deep, Chancey Carr at his own 22 for Memphis. Steve Haig snap to the short man. They're going to throw the pass. Lob it over the middle. Caught by Easter. It's a Missouri first down. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the Tigers. Snap it to the short man. Ron James lobbed it over the head of the defenders. To Cauldron off Easter. He fumbled, but Chad Chris was there to recover the ball. First and 10, Missouri. Tigers have it on their own 48 yard line. Look at the original spot of the fumble, so it's first and 10 for the Tigers. Nose of the football just shy of the 45. 
Looked like a two-handed chest pass from Jaynes. Play action fate by Jones with pressure. He's going to run it left side. Gets across 45, across midfield. Breaks a tackle to the 48, down about the 45-yard line. Tigers are close to another first down, depending on where the mark will be. Marvin Thomas, the great defensive end from Memphis, 6'5", 252, a senior from Bay Minute, Alabama. Running yep. to make the stop on that play. You know, Mike, that's what Corby Jones gives you. If they're covered and the linemen are blocking or they miss a block and he sees an opening, Corby's got the athletic ability to make some yards. Mitch Henderson in a tight end. He's tight to the right side. Two tight ends in this formation. Stuby the other. Deep handoff to West. Hit it behind the line of scrimmage, and he scrambled to get back to the line of scrimmage. Marvin Thomas on the stop for Memphis. Kirk, the passing right. the football as a collegiate. Yeah. Wide to the right goes Jenkins. Left is Brooks. Backfield in an eye. Second and 10 for Missouri from the Memphis 45-yard line. Option play left. Jones cuts it up, and he's popped and smacked down. A flag on the play as Memphis played that perfectly. Coming up, Richard Hogan's the All-American candidate and linebacker to make the stop and bury Corby Jones for about a three-yard loss. Again, a flag on the play. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike. The defensive line of Memphis uh, University can really move laterally. They did a fine job of pursuing down the line of scrimmage. Make no mistake about it, folks. This is the strength of the Memphis rip shear. Ricky Ross goes wide to the right slot on the right side. Jenkins. Murchison wide to the left. From the shotgun for the first time tonight, Jones' lone setback is Devin West. Jones, and there's going to whistle this play dead. As he took the snap and started to drop back, a flag from the far side of the field. Mike. Field judge Phil Laurie from Topeka is the side, side judge, and the back judge is Mark Johnson. He's from Fort Dodge, Iowa. So with a fourth and ten, Sebo on to punt. Chancey Carr back deep, standing at his ten-yard line for Memphis. Sebo, the barefooted, left-footed freshman. Steve Haig is the deep snapper. Good snap. Sebo gets the ball away. High spiraling kick. Carr backing up. Calls for fair catch. Hits it and takes a Memphis bounce into the end zone. So Memphis will have it first and 10. After the 20, Floyd wide to the left side. Wide to the left side is Carr. Wide to the right is Floyd. Backfield, Reeves and Cobb and an eye. Handoff running the left side, Cobb the tail back, gets across the 20 out to about the 22 or 23 yard line. A host of Tiger tacklers there. Brian Craycraft went off to the uh, Tiger right side of the defense. Craycraft made a good play. Two receivers right, one left, backfield and an eye. Second and seven. Option quarterback keeping it in, and he's hauled down. A late flag on the play. Craycraft was there for Missouri along with uh, the chopper, Daryl Chatman. Tiger football brought to you by the Missouri Lottery, celebrating 10 winning years. Face mask on the play against Missouri. 6.20 to go here in the scoreless ball game. First quarter, two receivers to the left. Backfield, Reeves and uh, Cobb in an eye formation behind Anderson. Deep handoff left side, Cobb hesitates, tries to cut it back to the right side. He's hit, but he's going to have the first down. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. Donnell Jones in at nose tackle had a shot. On Sundell credited with the stop. Two receivers to the left, one right. Lone setback for Memphis is the fullback. Straight drop back for Anderson. First and ten. Screen pass and it's batted down by Sean Sundell. Sundell out of Columbia, 6'2", 228, a junior. Mike Sundahl's done a good job. It goes wide to the left side, wide to the right is Dotson, but a nice heads-up play by Sean Sundahl. Backfield in the eye. Deep handoff running the right side. Cobb, he's hit and met by Cauldron off Easter after a pickup of one yard. Also coming up to support, Donnell Jones along with Kevin Ford. Also Joe Love is there. And let's call it eight from the 34. Memphis Anderson with pressure hit by Cross, releases the football. It's incomplete, but on the blitz, DeMonte Cross was able to pressure Quadri Anderson and force him to throw the ball before he wanted to. Now, the blitz is something to keep an eye on because that's something that Mississippi State did very successfully last weekend against Memphis. And DeMonte Cross came from the outside. He didn't come from up the middle. The most effective blitz is from the outside, outside of the tackle, out. Drew Paramore to punt. Spiraling kick back deep. Calling for the fair catch and making it is Ricky Ross at the Tiger 31. We pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Tiger football. Jenkins goes wide to the right side for Missouri. Wide to the left is Brooks. Tigers have it first and 10 from their own 31-yard line. Missouri's third offensive possession. 
Corby Jones under center. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolling to the left side, looking downfield. Jones, feeling pressure, tries to elude a man, does it to 31, gets out to about the 34, and he's popped backwards there. Making the stop for Memphis is Tremont Lawless, second team defensive end. Lawless. Jenkins goes to the right, Brooks to the left, tight in Stuvey, tight right, backfield Jaynes and West in an eye behind Corby Jones. Missouri operating from its own 35, deep handoff for West, cuts it back on the right side, gets out to the 40, close to the first down. Marcus Bowling makes the stop for Memphis. Mike, that was excellent blocking. The blockers, Bob Reedy and Appel and Nehemiah, really stayed with their blocks. That one, so about six inches. Brings up third and one, under four and a half minutes to go. Quarterback sneak by Jones. He's got the first down, depending on where they mark. I think he's got it easily. The uh, front four for Memphis credited with the stop. Ernest Blackwell trots onto the field along with Ed. Downs. Backfield split behind Corby Jones on a first and ten from the Missouri 41-yard line. Russ Appel is the center. Gets it to Jones. Hands off right side. Running is west across the 45 out to about the 47-yard line. Nice pick up there for the sophomore from Moberly, Devin West, as Richard Hogan's the Butkus candidate, along with Marcus Bolin, make the stop for Memphis. Jenkins right. Tied in Stuvey left. Backfield in an eye. Blackwell and West. Behind Jones, it's second and three from the 47-yard line. In motion to the near side comes Jenkins. Handoff, dive play to the fullback. Blackwell trying to get to midfield. He's going to be stalled about the 49-yard line. Pick up a maybe one or two. Tony Hart, along, or Tim Hart, along with Tony Williams and uh, Hogan's make the stop. Blackwell's done a good job so far this year. He's a good hard runner. Third and two from the Mizzou 49-yard line. Jenkins and Brooks right, backfield and an eye, Blackwell and West. Jones nestles under center, takes the snap. Dive play to the fullback. Blackwell gets it outside and gets across midfield, and he has the Tiger first down. Out to about the 48-yard line of Memphis. It'll be a first down as Missouri for the second time tonight is in Tiger territory. Well, the lone setback. West splits out. He's in a slot on the left side. Wide to the right side goes Jenkins. Wide to the left is Brooks. Tigers have it first and 10 from the Memphis 47-yard line. Jones under center. Corby, the sophomore from Columbia, straight drop. Looks, fires left side, and it's off the hands and almost picked off. Off the hands of Devin West. A bullet, and let's go down to the field and Chris Gervino. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. Tiger team physician Pat Smith is probing around the fifth-year seniors, both out of action now with injuries. Two receivers right. Running back tandem in an eye behind Corby Jones. Play action fake, sprinting to the right side, looking downfield. Jones fires in the flat. He's got Brooks at the 35-yard line, and he gets down to the 34. He's popped out there. First down for Missouri on a nice play, bringing the receiver across the field, John. Well, Mike, that's the way a rollout, that's the way a rollout quarterback's supposed to look. He just rolled up. Threatening here. First and 10 from the Memphis 29-yard line. Backfield in an eye. Jones under center. Corby takes the snap. Die play to the fullback Blackwell, breaks a tackle to 30, spins back at the 29, pulled down about the 28-yard line. Marcus Gary out of Tupelo, Mississippi, on the stop for Memphis. Well, Memphis State defense is coming home. At right, backfield in an eye. Tight in Stuvey, tight to the left side on a second and nine from the Memphis 28-yard line. Play action fake, rolling left Jones, looks, fires left flat, and it's off the hands of his intended target. There on the sideline in front of us, it was Jake Stuvey, the tight end. It'll bring up a third and nine with 1.19 to go here in the first quarter. Ross and Jenkins to the right. West and Blackwell split behind Jones on a third and nine from the Memphis 28-yard line. Jones. Takes the snap, straight drop back, looking with pressure, running right side, floats it on the right flat, and it's off of the hands of his receiver. Intended far west out of the backfield, it'll bring up a fourth down. Mark Norris will come on to try and put Missouri on the scoreboard. It'll be a 45-yard attempt from the middle of the field. Let's call it 46 yards. This placement will be just beyond the 35-yard line. Norris is ready. Good snap, good place. Kick is up. It is long enough, and it is good. Missouri takes a 3-0 lead on a 46-yard field goal by Mark Norris. 107 to go in the first quarter, and the Tigers are on the board. 3-0 Mizzou. You're listening to Tiger Football. Tigers 3-3 three three in home openers over their last six seasons. It's 
So Mark Norris ready to put the ball back into play. Damian Dotson standing at about his two yard line, middle of the field. Baysmore and Carr are the up people there at the 15. Norris approaches the football. The sidewinder hits it in over in. And deep, taken at the seven yard line by Dotson. Gets out to the 20, stutter step to the 24, spins there, and he's popped down by a host of Tiger tacklers. A number of Missouri players there. Terrence Binion leads the way. Mike, that's pretty good coverage. That was kind of a, not a long kick, that was to the seven yard. Off Easter. Scruggs in along with Riley, so a change in the running back tandem here for Memphis. Both freshmen. Play action, rolling right. Anderson she just lost it to his fullback. Uh, Scruggs had it at the 30, popped out of bounds, ran out of bounds at about the 33. Nice pick up there as he sent Scruggs out of the backfield. Floyd and Dotson go wide to the left, tight end. Kerry Cop tight right. Scruggs and Riley. And Riley on his first carry of the night picks up maybe a yard or two, but he has a Memphis first down out to the... Memphis Tiger 35. David Rowe makes the stop. You appreciate that a little more. Floyd and Carr go wide to the left. Scruggs and Riley and an eye behind Quadri Anderson. First and 10 from the Memphis 35. Option to the left side. First time we've seen it tonight. Anderson keeps it. He's popped at the 39 and wrestled down there. Tried to spin away, but his motion knocks him back. Joe Love make the hit. Underway, Tigers leading at 3 nothing. Memphis with the ball. Memphis with it, second and seven. Also, big crowd. There were long lines at the ticket booths on my way down here right before kickoff. This is a good crowd here tonight. Great crowd on the home opener. Hope to see more back against Clemson. Of course, a win would help that. Deep handoff, Riley. He's popped at the 40 and brought down. Pick up on the play of maybe a yard. Terrence Binion along the third and six. Car goes wide to the little right side. Wide to the right is Floyd. Scruggs and Riley in an offset eye behind Anderson. Straight drop back by Quadri Anderson. Looking, throws it over the middle. He's got the fullback Scruggs, and he's got the first down at about the 46-yard line of Memphis. Scruggs out of the backfield. The short stuff that we've saw that we've seen primarily here tonight is what you're going to see basically the entire evening on the passing game from Memphis. John, you saw the Memf the uh, Mississippi State tape as as I, and, and and that was pretty much the game plan from a passing. Mark the knee down at the 45-yard line. It looked like John that on the second effort he had the first down, but no, they marked the knee down. So Paramore on to punt back deep for Missouri is Ricky Ross. Fake on the punt, and uh, Memphis has the first down. They snapped it to the up man. And there's a flag on the play as well. Flag from the side judge. It's lying at about the Missouri 28-yard line. Allen on the carry of the ball. The fake Defensively gives Memphis a first down in midfield. Memphis with quarterback Quadri Anderson, 13.51 to go. In the half, and they trail 3-0. Backfield, Scruggs and Riley in an eye. Deep handoff, Riley cuts it back to the right side, met at midfield, and he's going to be popped down at the line of scrimmage as a host of Tiger tacklers were there. Erickson there along with Donnell Jones. Power off tackle plays. Receivers right and left, backfield offset eye, second and 10 from midfield. Anderson straight drop, looking right, feeling pressure, steps away, and he can't get away as he's hauled down by Sam Joshua. Sam Joshua, the junior college transfer from Kemper, storming in from the left side. Anderson, right tight in powers, tight right. Carr and Floyd, wide to the left side. Lone setback is Scruggs, straight drop back by Anderson. Throws it for the right sideline, it's going to be incomplete. Well away from his intended target, who was shadowed by Shad Chris on the play. That was Damian Dotson. So good coverage by Mizzou. A bad pass by, by Sam Joshua. Plays big here. Well, Missouri should get decent field position on this punt. Paramore on to punt, standing at his 32. Ross back at his own 15. Racconi's snap for Memphis is good, and they barely got it off as the Tigers almost blocked it. Bounces at the 22, takes a Memphis oh. bounce, and it's going to be oh. touched down at about the seven-yard line. The Tigers almost blocked that football. Mike, I don't, I can't. Bud Light, it won't fill you up, but it never lets you down, so make it a Bud Light. Tigers with it. 
Deep in their own territory, first and ten, deep handoff west, running the left side, gets out to about the ten-yard line. Devin West, the sophomore tailback, making his first collegiate start. He's out of Moberly, picks up maybe three on the play. Tackle, a change on the right side, Meredith and uh, Cliff Smith now operating on the right side. Jaynes and West, the running back tandem behind Corby Jones on a second and seven from the Missouri ten. Jones. Deep handoff west, running up the middle across the 15, out to about the 17-yard line. He's got the first down for Missouri. Devin West picks up, let's call it eight on the play. Tony Williams on the stop for Memphis. Tigers have it first and 10, ball on the Mizzou 18-yard line. Jones, option play right. Still keeping the ball, hit at the 15, loses the football, picked up by Memphis at the 21. Memphis gets it down to the... 15-yard line is picking up the fumble was Keith Spann, the free safety, and so Memphis will have it first and 10 deep in Missouri territory. Wide to the left is Floyd. The tight end is Powers. He's tight right. Running back tandem in an eye formation. Option play for Memphis. Anderson keeping the ball, cuts it up at the 15 to the 10, and he gets popped out of bounds at about the 7-yard line. He'll be shy of the first down, but a nice pickup for the quarterback, Quadri Anderson. That was the option play. He rolled out. He rolls out a little deep and comes down the line. Eight, ploy eight yards. Reeves and Cobb now in behind Anderson. Second and two from the Missouri eight. Deep handoff Cobb. He's hit it about the eight and popped down. He'll be shy of the first down. It'll bring up a third and short for Memphis. As Keith Cobb was met at the line of scrimmage, he tried to. Excitement now, folks. Third and two for Memphis from the Missouri eight-yard line. Anderson under center. Takes the snap, option play to the left side. Anderson cuts it up, and he's hit and yanked down, but he'll have the first down at about the seven-yard line is Justin Wyatt from his in position on the pursuit, and let's see where they mark him down at. I believe he'll have the first down, but let's find out. Well, Mike, he runs that option very well. He comes out of there, and he's, he's almost in a full sprint. And I don't think he intends to pitch no, the ball. Just shy of the first down. I thought he had it. Has to get to the six, and they mark the ball. Nose of the football. So it's fourth and one for Missouri. Fourth and one for Memphis from the Missouri seven-yard line. Anderson, the quarterback. Backfield tandem is Reeves and Cobb. And there was motion, and this play will be waved dead. Motion against Memphis. The crowd... Rose to the occasion that time, and Memphis. It appeared to have movement on the left side, along with the center, Ken Newton and Justin Mom, the left guard. Mike, they're bringing in their field goal team here. So the Tiger defense rises to the occasion as well. Defense has got to be alert here for the for the fake field goal. They got it in their uh, in their arsenal. They got a fake field goal. Ted Lane set up. He's a right-footed, side-footed kicker. Lane will attempt a 29-yard field goal. He took all of 95 off and returned to Memphis this year. Trying to tie the game. Good snap, good place. Kick is up, and it hits the crossbar. No good. Missouri maintains the 3-0 lead. It hit the left crossbar, and the Tigers... Preserved this three to nothing lead, and boy, is that not something to build a little momentum off of, John? That's good. From its own 20-yard line, and Brock Olivo in a tailback. Olivo, whose string of 16 consecutive start starts was snapped tonight. He's in for the first time. They're going to call option play reverse, hand it to Jenkins as he comes around from the left, heading to the left side. To the 25, cuts it out to the 30, back to the sideline at the 35, wrestled out of bounds there. So off the option, we see the reverse. As Jenkins lined up as the wide out on the right side, reverse field, and came back, took the pitch, and picked up the first down on a pickup of about 15 yards. Well, Mike, they had to head Memphis suckered into the left side here. They 36-yard line. Olivo in a slot on the left side. Wide left is Ross. Lone setback is Blackwell. Jones on a first and 10 die play. Blackwell hit at the line of scrimmage, and he's brought down after maybe a pickup of one. Tony Williams on the stop for Memphis. 9.20 to go here in the first half. Missouri up 3-0. Murchison in the slot on the right side. Ross wide right. Backfield in an eye. Olivo and Blackwell. Play action fake. Rolling right as Jones with pressure. Fires to the right sideline and overshoots his intended target. Jay Murchison at the Missouri 42-yard line. It'll bring up a third. Right right Murchison. 
Tight in Stubbe, tight to the right side. Backfield, Blackwell and Olivo in an eye behind Corby Jones. Jones takes the snap, fakes, play action, screen pass to Olivo, hit at the 35, and he's going to be piggybacked down there. Good coverage by Richard Hogans, the All-American candidate, the middle linebacker, and it'll bring up a fourth down, and Missouri will be forced to punt. Vince Sebo on to punt for Missouri. Sebo standing at his 22, back deep for Memphis. Chancey Carr at the 25. Sebo awaits the snap from Steve Haig. Good snap. Sebo's left foot gets into it, and there's a flag for roughing the kicker. Ball takes a bounce at the Memphis 20, and it's going to be touched back at the 18, but this baby's coming back as Vince Sebo was run into. Mike, that may not be roughing. That may be just running into the kicker, which is a five-yard penalty, which would make... Anderson since Riley and Carr to the left side. Running back combination now. Is Cobb and Reeves. Check that Riley. Deep handoff to Riley. Running the left side across the 20. Breaks free to the 25. Pulled down at about the 27-yard line. He's close to a Memphis first down. Teofiel Riley. The freshman stopped by Brian Craycraft and Justin Wyatt. Mike tailback off the left side of Memphis. and uh, John is, I, I think he runs harder than the other two. I think you're exactly right. Reeves and Riley lined up in an eye, second and two. Deep handoff, Riley left side, stutter step. He's hit it about the line of scrimmage and is going to be pulled down. Again, very close on that second and one play to a first down. And yeah, they run a trap on that play. The right guard pulled and and, uh, and kicked the Missouri tackle out, and they gave it a tailback on a trap off the left side. Left is Richie Floyd. Backfield, the running back combination in an eye formation. Play action fake. Anderson looking downfield. Looks now. Has a lot of time. Rolling to the right side. Feeling pressure from David Rowe. Steps up. Eludes Rowe. And David gets his foot and pulls him down. Anderson had a lot of time back there, but good perseverance by the defensive people of Missouri forced him, made a tackle. Floyd wide to the right side, Carr to the left. Reeves and Riley in an eye formation. Anderson pitches it on the option to Riley, feeling pressure. He cuts it up at the 35-yard line, popped down at the 36. Pick up maybe of two on the play. Joshua's there. So was DeMonte Cross and Joe Love, the primary tackler, though. Boy, that was good penetration on the right. 36-yard line. Two receivers to the right. Backfield in an eye. Riley and Reeves. Option play right. Anderson, the quarterback, keeping. Now pitches to Riley. Riley to the 35. Has the first down as he's forced out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Boy, that's a good option play, the way they run that thing. Throwing the football around. He was up earlier, but now throwing it with much more authority and seriousness. So we may see a new quarterback, if not the next series, eventually for Mizzou. First and 10 from the 44. Straight drop back. He throws it to Floyd, and he makes a diving grab at about the 45-yard line. Pickup of maybe one yard on the play as they tried to bring Floyd from the outside back to the inside. On that middle screen. That was like a, a, a quick side. Wide to the right goes Floyd and Carr. Riley and Reeves are in a eye formation behind Anderson. Anderson, deep handoff. Riley on the right side, breaks free to the 50, breaks a tackle at the 47-yard line. Going to be pulled down about the 46-yard line, close to a Memphis first down. Randy Potter makes the stop for Missouri. 46, be nice to hear some noise from the Tiger crowd. A power eye formation for Memphis on a third and one. From the Missouri 46-yard line, deep handoff Riley. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and forced back by a host of Tiger tacklers. Ford was there. Potter was there. Sundahl was there. I think he's got the first. The 16-yard line before he's wrestled down. Mark him at the 17, does the linesman. As Richie Floyd, the leading receiver on this Memphis to formation and he hit him on the right sideline 29 yard pickup Floyd and Dotson wide to the left side backfield and eye behind Anderson rolling to the left side Quadri Anderson looking downfield lost it into the end zone for Dotson and it's just beyond his reach here in the near end zone it'll bring up a second and ten well, what's happening with that quarterback? He's rolling now to his right. McDonald into the ball game. He's wide to the left side. 
in the slot on the left side is Carr. Lone setback is Riley. Anderson, straight drop, looking, fires an inside screen to McDonald, has it with 20 to the 15, trying to cut back across field to the right side, and he's brought down at the 11-yard line. So they bring in Brian McDonald, who's a freshman walk-on from Louisville. Side is the way to rush him. So Lane, who missed moments ago from 29, will attempt a 30-yard attempt. Now this one from the middle of the field, trying to tie the ball game with 2:24 to go in the half. Good snap, good place, kick is up, and it is good. We're tied at three with 2:19 to go in the first half. Missouri and Memphis back to Columbia in just a moment. This is the Tiger Network. If you're serious about making your best deal on a new Ford car, the ground source heat pump, call the energy advisors at your Missouri Electric Cooperative today. The Tigers of Memphis, Ricky Ross and Kenyatta Williams, back deep for Missouri. Memphis, 69 yards in 5 minutes and 40 seconds, a 12-play drive. Drive capped off by the 30-yard field goal from Ted Lane. We're tied at 3. Jimmy Keith is ready to kick, and he approaches the football. End over end kick. Ross coming up. Williams takes it at his 10. Kenyatta, the senior from St. Louis, to the 20. He's popped down about the 23-yard line. That's where the Tigers will take over on the two-minute drill with 2.15 to go here in the stats. And listening to you, it sounds like it's a pretty even 3-3 three -three type of game. Pretty even indeed. Tigers have it. Kent Scornia in at quarterback. Scornia. Out of Washington, Missouri, St. Francis Borgia hands off to his former teammate in high school, Olivo, running out of the left side, gets out to about the 26, maybe the 27-yard line. Clock continues to run. About Texas was able to put seven on the board before the end of the first half. Second and six after pickup of four. Backfield split behind Scornia. Handoff running the left side, Olivo breaks three to the 27, out to the 30, pop down there. Mike, you should have seen Brock Olivo on the sideline during that first quarter. He was sitting down on the bench with his shoulders and head bobbing up. Solution Company. Two receivers to the right. Backfield and an eye. Blackwell and Olivo behind Kent Scornia. Scornia expected to see time tonight and does here late in the second quarter. Throws it out and it uh, was intended for Ricky Ross, but Ross was tied up trying to block the man and really didn't pay any attention to the ball that was thrown. It's a little miscommunication between Scorny and... Ball club here on opening night. Well, and the weather could not be any more perfect than it is. Comfortable, comfortable. Vince Sebo on to punt for Missouri. Standing at his 18-yard line. Chancey Carr back deep for Memphis. Ten people on the line of scrimmage, and here they come. Sebo gets it off. Wobbly kick, Carr comes up and he takes it at his 38 across the 40, gets out to about the 45-yard line, so Memphis will have it. Good field position with 112 to go in the half. We're tied at three. Action as they prepare for the upcoming Big 12 season. A little baseball before football, 2 o'clock, Simmons Field next Saturday. Straight drop back for Anderson. Anderson looking downfield, feeling pressure, steps up, running the left side to the 45, gets to midfield, and he's forced out of bounds by Sam Joshua of Missouri at the 46-yard line the legs. Dotson wide to the right side. Receiver left backfield and eye movement on the defensive side of the football for Missouri. Cobb the tailback hit at the line of scrimmage and he's going to be close to the first down. See if forward progress gives him the first down. Are our, our people, our students safe on this campus yeah. with your football team? He's hearing that from within. You know there's some questions going on there. Third and one from the 46 as they did not get the first down. Quarterback sneak by Anderson. He does get the first down, and the clock is stopped with 46 seconds to go. Don't you get the feeling that this is a crucial stretch in the game? We have a whole second half to go, but boy, 46 seconds left if you Memphis don't gets a score. Let them score. Yeah, keep them two out. Two receivers right, two receivers left. From the shotgun, it's Quadri Anderson looking downfield as he takes the snap. Fires over the middle, intended for McDonald, and Brian McDonald slipped as the ball was. A poorly thrown ball, and it'll bring up a second and ten for Memphis. The clock stops with 36 seconds to go. Johnson go wide to the right. Carr and Floyd wide to the left. Again from the shotgun. On second and ten, Anderson dropping back. Rolling to the left side with pressure from Donnell Jones. He gets across the 47-yard line. Where are they going to push him out of bounds? Looks like they're going to push him out of bounds at the 47-yard line. The linesman right on the carrot right there on the call. Here on the near sideline, 29 seconds to go. It'll bring up pursuit. He's not going to hurt you out of the field. It's third down. 
from Memphis. Third and 14 from the 47 yard line. Anderson again from the shotgun looking middle swings it out right side Scruggs eludes a tackler at midfield gets to the 45 and Randy Potter wrestles him down at about the 44 yard line. Well short of the first down as the clock still rolls at 16 seconds as he did not get out of bounds. Now a fourth down situation. Lockler the H back still in Memphis obviously will go six seconds five will they get a playoff three they'll be happy to let the clock run out we have reached halftime first this this is the Tiger Network you can make it a pack of whales. You can make it a more business minimum monthly usage applies second half kickoff brought to you by Trebu industrial 1-800-886-1178 Trebu Jimmy Keith on to kick off to start the second half. Williams and Ross back deep for Missouri. Side kick. It's going to be taken midfield off the hands of Ross. It bounds into the end zone. Kenyatta Williams will cover and down it there. A little miscommunications between the two uh, receivers on the back end. And the Tigers will have it first and 10 at their 20-yard line to open up here in the second half. Mike, the two guys. Back. Craig Heimberger along with Mike Morris. Tied in Jake Stubbe. Tight to the left side. Receivers right and left. West and Jeans in an eye formation on a first and ten. First play of the second half for Missouri. Deep handoff West. He breaks free at the 22 and breaks a tackle, we should say, and brought down about the 24. Richard Hogan's the fine middle linebacker from Memphis making the stop. Well, Mike, this side, Jenkins to the left. West and Jeans split at this moment behind Kent Scornia. Scornia, straight drop back, looking left. He's going to fire in the left flat and undershoots his intended target. It was intended for Rosette New Jenkins, but the ball bounded down about the 33-yard line. Coverage on the play by Jesse Allen had maybe an opportunity to intercept the one of Memphis. Backfield in an eye. Receivers to the left side, two to the left. Tight in, tight right. Play action and off of the second back is uh, West. Devin fighting for yardage, maybe out to the 29-yard line. He'll be short of the first down as uh, Britton Wilkins makes the stop. Second team outside linebacker, and the Tigers will... But that defense has got to keep playing tough. Back deep, Chancey Carr. Sebo stands and awaits the ball at his 16. Steve Haig. Ready to snap the football. Good snap, Sebo puts the left foot into it. High spiraling boot. I mean, this is a good one, folks. It's backing Carr up, takes a fair catch at his 25. He's tapped afterwards, but no flag. Clayton Baker down on the coverage for Missouri. Memphis will set up shop first and 10 from its own running back tandem of Riley and Reeves. Carr goes to the left side. Floyd to the right. Shift to an offset eye. Fake the handoff. Rolling to the right side. Anderson pressure from uh, Wyatt. And his golf tipped and complete to Floyd at the 40. Gets to the 45 and pulled down at the 49-yard line. Ball partially tipped right into the hands of Richie Floyd. It'll be a Memphis first down, just shy of midfield, and there's an injured Tiger on the field. Riley line up in an eye formation on a first and 10 from the Memphis 49-yard line. Anderson, dive play to his fullback, Reeves, fights across midfield, gets down to about the Missouri 47-yard line. Marriott along with the Donnell Jones on the stop for Missouri. Second half of a 3-3 ball game, Memphis and Missouri. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast tonight, folks, with John Cadillac. I'm Mike Kelly, Chris Giovino down on the sidelines. Deep handoff to the tailback. Riley breaks free on the left side to the 45. He's hit at the 41 and brought down by Randy Potter there. A good solo tackle by the sophomore from Melville High School, Randy Potter. His son, Kevin, probably proud of that stop, John Cadillac. Well, what they're doing there, they look like just a straight... You know, it's first and 10 for Memphis from the Missouri 40-yard line. Quadri Anderson, the quarterback, ready to nestle under center. Reeves is the fullback. Riley, the tailback. Receivers right and left. Tight in, tight to the right side. Anderson. Option play right. Now he drops back to throw. Looking. Still rolling to the right side with pressure from Missouri. Lofts it to the right sideline and unloaded the ball with pressure and Daryl Chapman right in his face. The pressure in the presence of Daryl Chapman right in his face. Looked like the fans won intentional grounding, but it was a good it was a good pass. There was a receiver in the area. Down to the sideline. Chris Gervino standing by. Chris. Okay, Shad Chris is all right. He's walking off his injury. Nothing serious. Team, so some leadership perhaps lost from the Missouri offensive unit. Second and ten after the incomplete pass. Anderson, the quarterback for Memphis. Play action fake. Dropping back. Looking over the middle. Now fires over the middle. Intended for Dotson. And it's almost picked off by Clayton Baker. He played it well. Did the senior from Denison, Texas. 
played it well, used his speed to move in front of the intended target, Damian Dotson, but could not slot his car. Wide to the left comes Richie Floyd. The lone setback is Reeves. Wide to the right, McDonald and Carr. Wide to the left, Floyd. Third and ten from the Missouri 40-yard line for Memphis. Lone setback is Reeves. The quarterback, Anderson, under center. Takes the snap. Straight drop back, looking over the middle. Going to throw a right side into the flat, and he's got McDonald. Gets away from Carlos Posey, but brought down immediately at the 20 at the 35-yard line. Shy of a first down by Missouri. Mike, third down efficiency for Memphis State. Four for 11. Third down efficiency, four, four for 11. On a fourth and five, Memphis will be forced to punt. Paramore comes in, back deep. Ricky Ross, watch for the uh, snap to the short man, Allen. They tried that in the first half. Fourth and five, snap it back to Paramore. High spiraling kick, Ross will let it go into the end zone. Takes a bounce at the one and caroms into the end zone and through the back of the end zone. 11.26 to play in the third. Missouri and Memphis nodded at three. And so the Tigers of Memphis see their drive stall. It's been a one, six, two, two ninety, two eighty. 290, Muscular and mobile. Muscular and mobile. Ends. Yeah, quickness. Scorney in at quarterback. Janes and West, the running back tandem. First and 10 from the Missouri 20-yard line. Long snap count. Deep handoff left side West trying to get outside. Nothing doing. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage by Tony Williams. One of those defensive front four you're talking about out of his defensive tackle position. Larry Smith said on Monday without hesitation that he's... And uh, and a big defensive end, number 98. Uh, uh, Marvin Thomas. Yeah, Marvin Thomas. I tell you, they're having a heck of a time blocking him. Backfield split, receivers right and left, tight ends to be tight right. Straight drop back for Scornia, firing the left right side. He's got James at the 23-yard line, forced out of bounds at about the 27. So Rhino comes out of the backfield to catch the ball. Pick up about seven, it'll be third and three. Again, Mike, that's that fullback. Memphis used that fullback. Backfield in an eye. Option play. Scornia pitches to West with James in front of him. Cuts it up. He's got the first down across the 30-yard line to the 31. Hey, how about the block of Rhino out of Clarence, yeah, right. Missouri? Rhino James, a great block. He blocked that corner man right down. He went right at him. No hesitation. He knew he was. He's a man who's ever got the quarterback responsibility will predicate or make that decision for you, right? Right. Scorny under center, backfield in an eye. It's a first and 10 from the Missouri 31. Three-step drop, fire right side. He's got Jenkins at the 35. Stutter step gets around a man, and he pulled down at the 39-yard line. Good coverage by Kevin Cobb, the defensive back and the defensive captain for Memphis. Boy, Scorny looked good throwing that ball. He just took a two-step drop, and he... Three, Brooks and Jenkins wide to the left side. Rosette new in the slot. Backfield offset eye. It's Jaynes and West now shift to a straight eye. Tight in Stubbe, tight to the right side. Second and one for Missouri. Movement on the offensive line. They're going to be whistled dead, and this play won't count, folks. Movement by the tight end. I believe Jake Stubbe was guilty. Boy, that's a killer. I'm telling you, that's a killer. He moved his right leg. He's trying to get set, and uh, the linesman here called him in motion, and rightly so. Second and one. Football's a game. Footed to Bob Rowe as our spotter. Receivers right and left. Second and six for Missouri. Clock moving, 9.24 to go in the third. We're tied at three. And this play will be whistled, whistled dead. Movement on both sides of the football. Suddenly, it appears like the Tigers have gone into vapor lock upstairs. The drive going. Need a play here. Second and 11. Receivers to the left. Two receivers to the left. Backfield split. Tight end Stubbe. Tight right. From the just nose of the football, shy of the, Memphis, of the uh, Missouri 30. Straight drop back. Scornia fires left side, swings it out for West, and he can't catch it. Just out of the reach of Devin West. It'll bring up a third and 11. Uh, and the Tiger offense let's go wide to the left, merges into the right. West, the lone setback. Scornia from the shotgun. Third and 11 from the Missouri 29-yard line. Scornia looking left. Feeling pressure, trying to run away. Can't get away. He's hauled down at the 19-yard line as Marcus Gary came from the linebacker's position from the outside and hauled down Kent Scornia from behind. So Missouri will be forced to punt, and boy, oh, boy. For their backfield. They can throw short, but when they throw long, the linemen having a hard time blocking them. 
Carr back at his 40-yard line. Sebo standing at his 11. Set to kick the ball away. Ten people on the line of scrimmage for Memphis. Vince Sebo, the barefooted, left-footed punter, bobbles the snap, but then gets off a nice kick. Backing Carr up. He takes it at his 30. Stutter stepping, trying to get outside. He's hemmed in. He's going to be brought down at the 35. That's great coverage by Missouri. Great coverage and great kicking by the punter. But I'll tell you what. Off moved up to a 6 p.m. start. First and 10 for Memphis. From the Memphis 35. Anderson, the quarterback. Deep handoff. There's motion into the cop. Comes around the left side to the 35. Gets out to the 40, maybe the 41. But I believe they're going to call motion against Memphis in the, def in the offensive backfield. I think Scruggs, the fullback, might have been moving forward before he's the leader. First and 15 from the Memphis 30 after the motion penalty. Deep handoff and losing the football. Cobb recovered by Missouri. The Tigers come up with a defensive break. Cobb broke through the line of scrimmage. Looked like it had some running room, but the ball was poked free, and Missouri was there to recover the football. This sets up great opportunities. DeMonte Cross and Darrell. And Travis Beal on the left side. Travis Beal on the left side. Haig is the center. Blackwell and Olivo, the running back tandem behind Kent Scornia. First and 10 from the Memphis 36. Deep handoff, running the left side. Olivo hit at the line of the 35. He pushes the pack forward to about the 34-yard line. That's a straight tailback off the left side. Looked like he had more yards made. But second and eight, ball in the 34. Again, backfield in an eye. Receivers right and left, Scorny and Nestles under center. 7-14 to go in the third. We're tied at three. Three-step drop, fire right side. Jenkins has it at 30. Tries to elude the man, pushed out of bounds at the 26 with a Tiger first down. Mike McKenzie on the coverage for Memphis. Yard line, backfield in an eye. Tigers trying to get on the board again. Tied at three here in the third. Deep handoff, Olivo jumps it outside on the left side. Gets the 25 to the 20. Cuts it upfield. He's pushed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. He'll be just shy of a first down, but nice running. The biggest run of the day for Brock Olivo. Hogan's and Stewart forced him out of bounds. That was your handoff, Olivo. Stutter step. He's got the first down across the 15. Well, he got the first down, Mike. You know, when you got a short yardage like that. Because they've turned it over 10 times in their first three games. Backfield split, two receivers to the right. First and 10 from the Memphis 15-yard line. Scorny, a straight drop, looking right side. Fires across the middle. Olivo has it at the 11. He's wrestled down there. Good defensive play by Marcus Gary, the linebacker. Good play calling that back. Just shy of the 11-yard line. I goes wide to the right side. Two receivers, backfield split. Scornia under center. Second and six. Handoff running the left side. Olivo gets to the 10, cuts it up to the nine. Breaks, tries to break free, and he's yanked down at about the eight-yard line. Boy, Olivo's running hard, Mike. He's really trying to get to that goal done. Really got to get their nose hard and come off the ball. Beeble Morris, Egg along with Cliff Smith. And Todd Demeyer, high formation, third and three from the eight-yard line. Three-step drop, looks, fires over the middle, touchdown, Eddie Brooks! Missouri takes the lead with 5.15 to go on a 11-yard pass. An eight-yard pass from Kent Scornia to Eddie Brooks. Okay, that's a two-step drop for Scornia. Eddie Brooks really got across the formation pass, really got across there, right over the middle and caught the ball. A great throw by Scornia. Kent Scornia to Eddie Brooks. Steve Haig is the snapper, the holder Scornia. Mark Norris trying to add the 10th point. Good snap, good place. Kick up, kick is good. Missouri leads it 10 to 3. 5.15 to go in the third. The Tigers up seven. You're listening to Tiger Football. To kick off, Damian Dotson stands at his one yard line for Memphis. Tiger crowd energized a bit after Missouri takes the lead. Norris's kick, high and over and kick. Dotson will take it at the four. Over on the right, Hash coming back to the middle of the field of the 20, running room 25, cuts it back to the 30. He's popped down there. What looked like was going to be a significant hole, quickly filled by the kicker of all people, Mark Norris, with the stop. Yeah, the first wave, the uh, the first wedge of Memphis really opened up a nice hole. First and 10 for Memphis. This is a big series for the Missouri defense, John. Now defense, now defense. Scruggs and Riley, the running back tandem behind Quadri Anderson for Memphis. First and 10 from the Tiger 30-yard line, running the 
left side. And hemmed in and pinned down as Riley. No gain on the play. Jeff Marriott there for Missouri to lead the charge. I tell you what, Mike, with all those Tigers going after the ball carrier, that's the way you get the gun. Setback, he's the fullback. Two receivers go to the right. Floyd and Carr. Dotson goes wide to the left side. Anderson, three-step drop. Looking now, he's going to run it up the middle. It gets to the 35. Stutter steps to the 40. Pop down 41-yard line. He'll be close to a Memphis first down. Just a quarterback draw on that play. Well, that's the first time we've seen that draw play. That One, McDonald and Dotson go wide to the right side. Running back combination in an eye. Anderson, as the Missouri crowd tries to get loud. Fakes the deep handoff, play action, swings it out right side, Scruggs has it, 45, hit it to 46, tries to stumble free, can't do it, brought down 48-yard line. Pickup of probably seven on the play, maybe eight as the clock continues to roll, 340 to go in. Floyd wide right, Dotson wide to the left side, backfield again in an eye. It's a second and three for Memphis from the Memphis 48-yard line. Deep handoff, Riley, he's hit at the line of scrimmage, pushes forward across midfield to the 49, close to a first down, Steve Erickson, the redshirt freshman from Dallas on the stop. First down. David Rowe comes back in, at nose tackle for Missouri. The ball care, hone in on the ball. McDonald goes wide right, Dotson wide left, backfield at an eye. Anderson. Rolling to the right side on play action. Swings it out right side. Short of his intended target. Scruggs the fullback. DeMonte Cross there on the coverage. Pressure from Justin Wyatt. Yeah. The sophomore yeah. from Herman. Yeah, just Floyd to the left. Backfield and an offset eye. Riley and Scruggs. Anderson the quarterback on a second and ten from the Missouri 49. Straight drop looking right. Fires in the right flat. He's got Scruggs out of the backfield. 40 gets a block across the 35 to the 30. Pulled down 28-yard line. Nice pick up there by the fullback Jeremy Scruggs out of the backfield. Yeah, we're not covering that Scruggs out of the... Bulls have changed. Memphis first and 10 from the Missouri 27. Backfield offset eye. Deep handoff to Riley. The tailback trying to get outside. Hit at the 25. Breaks forward to about the 21-yard line. Brought down there maybe to the 20. They're going to mark him down at the 21. Well, the Tigers connect four. We'll hear it in a moment. Backfield and an eye. Second and four. From the Missouri 21-yard line. Anderson... And off running the left side is Riley. Hit at the 20, trying to fight forward. Gets down to about maybe the 19-yard line. Met it there by David Rowe. Mike, that was a slant by the tailback, and all the linemen came right down the line of scrimmage. Three-yard line, Memphis on the 18-yard line. Memphis has the ball, third and one. Lone setback, Riley. Receivers right and left. Straight drop back for Anderson. Looking, fires over the middle. He's got uh, Floyd at the 15-yard line. It'll be a first down for Memphis. Richie Donald and uh, Dotson go wide to the right side. Tight in powers, tight to the left side. Backfield in an eye. Scruggs and Riley. Anderson under center. Deep handoff, Riley running right side. Trying to jump it outside. He's hit and he's fighting forward for yardage. Gets down to about the 12-yard line. Demonic Cross hitting first. Also, under five seconds to go in the third. Memphis has its second and seven from the Missouri 12. Anderson, three-step drop, looking right side, fires into the end zone, and he overshoots his intended oh. target, and they're going to call pass interference against Missouri's Clayton Baker. We pause 10 seconds for station ID. You're listening to Tiger Football. Pull at the Missouri two-yard line. Backfield in a power eye. Riley. Is in a tailback with Scruggs and Reeves. Anderson, the quarterback, deep handoff. Riley trying to get into the end zone, and he does. Memphis scores on a two-yard run by Teofilo Riley. So after Missouri scores, Memphis answers, takes it down the field, and they are an extra point. Tigers leading right now, clinging to a one-point advantage, pending the outcome of this extra point attempt by Ted Lane of Memphis. No time to go in the third. Low snap, good place. Kick is up, and it is good. We're tied at 10 as we move to the final 15 minutes. You're listening to Tiger Football. Memphis to momentum by letting up on defense. Hey, Tiger fans, show your true colors and keep up with the Tigers on your office or home computer with sports links, interactive football screensaver, football schedule, team graphics, fight songs, much more for only $19.95. Call sports links, screensavers at 1-800-695-8047. Jimmy Keith on to kick the football off. Back deep for Missouri. Ricky Ross and Kenyatta Williams. A nice run back here would be something to 
appreciate. Keith's kick, end over end kick. It's going to back Ross into the end zone. He takes it about eight yards deep and wisely will go to one knee. Tigers will have it first and ten from their 20-yard line. Mike, at the end of the third quarter, the from Missouri, he has played the entire second half. Olivo and Blackwell, the running back tandem. They shift to an I formation. Stuvey shifts to the right side. Tied on the right side. Receivers right and left. First and ten from the Missouri 20. Deep handoff Olivo. Stutter steps. No room to run, folks. Memphis covered that up in a hurry. We've seen more stuttering out of Brock Olivo with his approach to the line of scrimmage, John, than we've seen, I think, ever from him. Yeah, you can hesitate against a defensive line like Memphis like Memphis because they, they can really... Mike Brooks wide to the left side. Backfield, Blackwell and Olivo split right now behind Kent Scornia. 14-29 to play. Tied at 10. Scornia under center. Takes the snap, straight drop. Looking to the left side. Fires left flat. He's got Olivo out of the backfield at the 25. Pulled down at the 26-yard line. Pickup of six on the play. Not in the flat, only they threw to the back this time. Jenkins wide right. Brooks wide to the left. Backfield split. Second and four from the 26-yard line. Scornia, straight drop, looking right. Fires over the middle to the tight end. Stuvey's got it, and he's got the first down at the 33. And they couldn't wrestle that big kid down. Jake Stuvey out of Kansas City, a sophomore. It's to start in the ballgame, out with a hamstring injury. Ball at the 33, first and 10. Tigers in an eye formation behind Kent Scornia. Movement on the defensive side of the football, and they're going to whistle this one dead. Steve Haig applauds, pointing at the Memphis team. The nose guard and the, and the right tackle went off sides for, uh, for Memphis. Ball start oh against boy. the offense. Oh, boy. Steve Haig a bit pre -land. Backfield offset eye. First and 15 from the Missouri 28-yard line. Hand off Olivo running the left side. Gets to the 30, outside 35. Gets across the 35. Popped out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Coming up to make the hit, Jeremy Stewart from his strong safety position. Brock Olivo able to get out to about the 37-yard line. Tigers need to get down. Second and five after a pickup of 10 yards. Backfield in an eye formation behind Scornia. Kent takes the snap. Deep handoff Olivo running up the middle. Gets to the 40-yard line, and he's going to be pushed down there. It'll bring up a third down. And I contend Memphis has got two for 10. Third and a long two for Missouri. Backfield split. Receivers right and left. Scornia the quarterback. Out of St. Francis Borgia. Straight drop. Swings it out of the backfield. Blackwell has it and drops the football at the 40-yard line. Ernest had it, just could not pull it in. It'll bring up a fourth down and a long two. Tigers faked a punt in the first half. Ron James sent an overhead two-handed pass for a first down. Sebo loses the football. It's going to be picked up by Memphis. And the Tigers of Memphis are going to score and take the lead. Now they're going to wave it dead. They wave it dead. At the 25-yard line, is picking the ball up was Mike McKenzie, but they waved the play dead yeah. at the 25. But nonetheless... I think was about knee-high right on the money. Something that Sebo has had problems with prior to the season. Anderson, the quarterback. Running back tandem, the freshman pair of Riley and Scruggs. Quadri Anderson under center. Memphis just scored on its last possession. Has excellent field position here in this play. Wessel dead. Looked like movement on the left side of the Memphis offense. Right to the right side, backfield Scruggs and Field and uh, Riley in an eye. Play action fake. Anderson swings it out left side, Scruggs out of the backfield. It shakes off a tackler, gets to the 20. He's trying to be hauled down, and he's dragging a Missouri tackler to the 21, to the uh, 16. Harold Piercy finally was able to drag him down, but Jeremy Scruggs wide to the left side. Wide to the right is Carr. Backfield in an eye. Second and one from the 16. Deep handoff. Riley hit and maybe got close to the first down, but he's going to, I think, be just a little bit short and bring up third down. Third and one. Memphis needs to cross the 15-yard line. Nose of the football just shy of the 15. Dotson wide right. Floyd wide to the left. Quarterback sneak. Anderson gets across the 15. He's got the first down. It'll be first and 10 for Memphis. Depending on... Special teams play an important part in close ball games. They certainly do. 
Option play left for Anderson on a first and ten. Keeps it to the ten to the five. Touchdown, Memphis. He walked down the left sideline and scored, and Memphis takes the lead. It's first lead of the night. The option play, and Memphis scores on the run by Quadri Anderson. Mike, he hasn't pitched a placebo. Ted Lane on for the point after. 10.25 to play, trying to put Memphis up by seven. Good snap, good place. Kick is up, almost blocked, but it's good. Memphis takes a 17 to 10 lead. Five to play. The Missouri offense needs to get in gear. Down seven now. As Jimmy Keith is set to kick the football off for Memphis. Tiger football brought to you by Sprint Business. We help business do more business. Williams and Ross back deep for Missouri. Keith's kick. It's going to send Ross back again about seven yards deep. He thought about it and then wisely, wisely goes down to one knee. Mike, uh, Coach Smith is doing the right thing with Sebo. Sebo knows what he does. It's own 20-yard line. Jenkins goes wide to the right side, wide to the left. Brooks. Scorny at quarterback. Three-step drop. Fires right side. Scott Jenkins at the 24. Hit immediately and popped down there by Keith Cobb. Kevin Cobb. Good coverage by the Memphis defensive back. Decent good protection up front. Two-step drop, and he hit Reset New right out in the flat. Backfield split. Three-step drop. Looking. Fires over the left side. And he's got Eddie Brooks for a first down at the 35-yard line. Mike, Eddie Brooks has looked good all preseason. He can really catch the ball. He's very fluid. He runs well. He's got good concentration. Tigers again go no huddle. Gain of nine on that play. First and ten for Missouri. Football at the 35. Blackwell and Olivo behind Ken Scornia. Play action, looking right, fires right sideline, intended for Jenkins, and he overshoots him at the 35-yard line. Jenkins, five-yard line. Jenkins to the right, Brooks to the left. Backfield split, Blackwell and Olivo behind Kent Scornia. Handoff running the right side, Olivo trying to get outside, cuts it up to the 40, gets out to about the 41-yard line. Pickup of six on that play. It'll bring up a third and four as the clock continues to run. Mike McKenzie, who covered the fumble on the... Punt. No Made huddle. the stop there. Again, no huddle. No huddle offense. Three-step drop. Fire it over to the left side. Off the fingertips of Jenkins at the 45-yard line. It'll bring up a fourth down. While consoling Vince Sebo, Smith is not going to take any chances, and he brings on Jason Smith, the sophomore out of Oklahoma to punt. Takes the snap, puts the foot into it. High spiraling kick. Fair catch called for and taken by Carr at the 21-yard line. That's where Memphis will have it with 9.08 to play, leading 7. He's in a slot on the left side. Floyd wide to the left. He's in a slot on the left side. Floyd wide to the left side. Wide to the right side is Carr. Backfield lone setback to fullback. Handing off Scruggs, running the fake the handoff, rolling right as Anderson throws it to the left sideline, and he's got Damian Dotson, incomplete pass. He stepped out of bounds before he was able to catch the football at the Memphis 33. You know, there's a flag on the play. Two receivers to the right side, one receiver left. Scruggs, the fullback, the lone setback. Anderson, the quarterback, straight drop, looking downfield. Fires into the left flat, a diving catch, and not made by Locklear. He made the attempt, but could not pull it in. Rob Locklear, six feet. Nick Anderson, feeling some pressure, dancing around, feeling pressure, hit, and he's popped down at the 14-yard line. The defense comes up big. Erickson was there. Wyatt was there. Now, now Missouri can get great field position. Low snap, bobbled by the punter. He's going to have to run with it. Now he kicks it. It's a spiraling kick, and it's going to be taken at midfield by Ross out of bounds. Taken out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Missouri will set up there first in on that last play, John Cadillac. Yeah, that was a great play by Paramore. You know, those three-play series lasted 47 seconds for Memphis. Play action fake, swinging out in the left flat, and it's just under shoots. Ron Jaynes out of the backfield. Scorny out just shy of midfield, second and ten. After a great series by the defense, the offense needs to do its part here. Scorny under center, backfield split behind him. Hand off to West, running the right side, hesitates as he goes across midfield, brought down at about the 48-yard line. Tony Williams and Tim Hart, so again... After two plays, the offense now still needs to come up big on third. 
You know, the right side of the Tiger line had a pretty good surge, but... Wide to the right side goes Brooks. Wide to the left is Jenkins. Backfield split behind Kent Scornia. Now they fan Jenkins further out wide left. Straight drop. Fire over the middle. A diving grab by Jenkins. A first down for Missouri at the Memphis 34. It was 7.27 to play. Deep handoff for West. Trying to cut it outside. Wrapped up and brought down by Tony Williams. The same man who he's just locked up with. Drags him down for a one-yard gain. I tell you what, Mike. Brooks goes wide to the right. Jenkins to the left. Second and nine. Tigers need to make something happen here on second down. Janes and West split behind Scornia. Straight drop, looking right. Fires in the right flat. He's got Brooks over there. He's got it at the 25. Brought down at the 20 for a Tiger first down. A formation behind Kent Scornia. Clock running at six and a half minutes to play. Missouri down seven. Deep handoff west straight up the middle running to the, about the 15-yard line. Maybe, maybe mark the forward progress. Stop. Jenkins goes wide to the right, wide to the left side. Brooks backfield in an eye. Second and five from the Memphis 15. Dive play to the fullback, Jeans. He's going to be pushed back at about the uh, 12-yard line after maybe a pickup of three. Ron Jeans. Richard Hogan's. 6'2", six, 245. Th six, Big third down here for Missouri. Third and two from the 13-yard line. Backfield in an eye. Scorning of the quarterback. Running the left side is West. He hesitates. He's going to be pulled down at the 11, and it's going to be very, very close. I don't think he's going to get the first down, and Missouri will be forced to make a decision with a fourth and short. Four minutes and 39 seconds to play. Missouri down seven. Fourth and one. Tigers need to get to the 10-yard line for a first down. Hand off West. He's got the first down down to the nine running off of the tackle. Behind Todd Meyer and Rob Ruddy. Tigers trying to force it in and pull within one. Backfield split. Scorney under center. Kent takes the snap. Three-step drop. Fires on the right side. A diving grab made at the five-yard line by Brooks. Check that Jenkins. Backfield Janes and West in an I formation. Scornia, long snap count. Memphis showing blitz. Deep handoff to West running the left side. Touchdown, Missouri! Devin West scores from five yards on. The Tigers have cut the lead to one. They had the surge of the line going backwards. Missouri will try and knot it now with three and a half to go. 3.31 to go with a Mark Norris extra point. 17 to 16. Memphis leads it. Missouri trying to pull even. Of course, overtime changes the thinking here a bit about going for two. Good snap, good place. Kick up, kick is good. No good. Wide right. No good. Wide to the right. Mark Norris missed. Of course, you think about the onside kick in this situation as well. But with 3.31 to go, Missouri's defense has played well, and Norris will kick it long. Cobb runs over, and he takes it at his 25. Trying to get a field, he slid down at, slid down at the 29-yard line. Slid wow. down, and so they've got it. They're going to move Memphis with Riley and Reeves in an eye formation behind Anderson. Deep handoff running the left side. Riley, the freshman, pulled down from behind by David Rowe from his nose tackle position. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. I think it's going to be Schmidt. They bring another wide receiver in. Dodson wide to the left. Carr and Floyd wide to the right. The lone setback is the fullback. That's Reeves. Three-step drop. Quarterback draw by Anderson. Popped down at the 35-yard line. It'll bring up a third down with 2.40 to play. Sneeze like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. They were here tonight, folks. We had a chance to go over and visit with the fine people from State Farm. We appreciate their support here on the Tiger Network. Third and five. Lone setback in motion. Coming to the right side is Carr. Three-step drop. Anderson, quarterback keeper on the draw. Tries to get outside, and he dives for the first down at the 41-yard line. That's a headsy play by the freshman as DeMonte Craw, or by the senior quarterback, DeMonte. Now Riley comes back in. Riley and Reeves, the fullback and tailback combination. Reeves in motion, sliding to the right side. Deep handoff to Riley. Riley across the right side to the 45, out to about the 47. Clock continues to roll, approaching the two-minute mark with Missouri down by one. A minute 34 away from falling to 0-2. Deep handoff and wrapped up as the tailbacks. Riley. Jeff Marriott was there. 
Along with Daryl Chapman, and the clock stops with 1.25 to go. It'll be a third down, another third, 17 to 10. Missouri scored but on a five-yard run by West, but Mark Norris missed the extra point, and that's where we sit. Third down here, rolling to the left side. Anderson throwing down the left sideline. Dotson was wide open, and he missed him. He overshot him at the Missouri 33-yard line. It'll bring up a fourth down with 1.20 to go. How did he get open? So he was all alone down to this low snap paramore almost has it blocked gets it off high spiraling kick ross will let it bounce ross runs over and it's going to be down at about the three yard line so missouri in the final 109 will have to go spotted it down first and 10 from their own six lone setback devin west now ron james shifts back and they go into an eye formation Straight drop back. Scorny a hit, and he's going to be brought down for a safety. Storming in from the left side was Marques Bowling, and Memphis seals this one up with 104 to go. They lead it now 19 to 16. A safety as Bowling stormed in to sack Ken Scornia. Onside kick here. We talk going in. If you don't turn the ball over, play hard, and create some opportunities, you have a chance to win. Norris with the onside kick. It's going to be fielded nicely by one of the up people for Memphis at the Missouri 27-yard line with 103 to go. So Memphis has the ball a minute through. Good quickness and a fine quarterback. You know, in those scores, the scores of the Miami-Mississippi State game were a bit misleading, the difference in the game. But, uh, again, you look at this opportunity, and I'm sure Missouri will consider it as an opportunity that uh, eluded them. Just downing the ball. Missouri cannot stop the clock. Out of timeouts. Under 55. Memphis breaks the huddle. Ten seconds to go. The crowd heading for the streets. Eight, seven, six. Anderson takes the snap, kneels down, and Memphis wins for the first time in 1996. The Tigers of Memphis come to Old Mizzou, and they beat the Tigers 19 to 16. That's our final score. Larry Smith joins us momentarily on the postgame show. This is... The Tiger Network. You can make it.